finish all this, you're gonna go trick or treating, get more candy, and then you're gonna eat that. The ultimate cheat day. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Today we got Burger King. And we are here to try the new and limited edition Adam's Family Meal. I cannot lie to you, as much as I love Burger King, I was a bit reluctant to try this meal out. Just for the simple fact that purple buns don't usually excite me. So let's see if this meal is to die for or if it's just another trick instead of a real treat. Oh, okay. Look at the packaging. We actually got packaging. It's giving spooky. It's giving Halloween. I love it. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, they gave me fries instead of onion rings. Oh. The meal is supposed to come with onion rings, but they accidentally gave me fries. It has the things rings and other things packaging though, but it just has fries instead of the things rings. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's try it out. Hmm. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> Burger King. I'm so happy that I actually tried this because this is really good. No, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. So what is on this Wednesday Whopper is going to be, of course, the quarter pound of beef. It's going to have Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and the bun is actually a purple potato bun. So that's what's giving it its color. Thankfully, it's not anything like red 40 mixed with some other weird stuff or who knows maybe it is secretly and they just lie to us but no this is also what the bun is looking like here you see it's bitten too it's a really pretty vibrant purple i can't lie to you mm. the swiss cheese is not overpowering it's perfect they did their big one on this i will say that the bread is a bit more on the dense side but it's still really good now to Imagine we're trying the onion rings. I mean, honestly, they're just onion rings. That's about it. They didn't give me the zest. They remembered to give me the zesty sauce, though. I think maybe they just accidentally um switched up well someone else's fries with <laughs> with, with my onion rings, but do they remember the zesty sauce? The zesty sauce is always good, though. Mm. Okay, up next we must try Morticia's shake. Okay, Morticia's kooky chocolate shake. Here we come. It's a lot more on the thicker side. Hold on, let me stir it. Mm hmm, hmm. It's real thick, but it's nice and chocolatey though. What Morticia's shake has going on with it is it's going to be, of course, a chocolate shake, and then it has a chocolate cake batter fudge, and then it has these black and purple cookie bits on top, which I'm a huge fan of, especially when you mix it up. Like it's really making it like this fun chocolate cookies and cream minus the cream dessert. I like it. It kind of reminds me of brownie, like like a brownie liquefied. I don't know if it's because of the um, cake batter fudge or if it's because of the cookie, but then it's cookie and not brownie. I don't know, but it, got, it kind of reminds me of like a malt chocolate brownie blended in shake. It's nice. Before we continue, we're already on dessert. So speaking of dessert, of course, we got Gomez's churro fries. And and I kind of peeked what they did there with Gomez Adams' name and like a playoff. And they kind of were like, oh, what do we make churros? But here's the thing. I looked up where Gomez Adams is from. He's from Spain. What? I always thought that Mexico, or if not Mexico, South America came up with trudels. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Please correct me if I am. Kindly don't. Don't be mean about it. I could have sworn though, like that's, that's what that was. But I mean, well, here we are. They're already pretty warm and nice and crispy on the outside, but I can already tell that they're going to be nice and just airy. Crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside that yeah mm. 
Y'all, I'm gonna be so honest. I'm mad I only got four of these. Bruh. I'm so mad I only got four of these. This is wrong. This tastes so good. It's just like I suspected. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. The perfect amount of cinnamon. It's not overpowering because I hate when some churros are just like drowned in that cinnamon sugar mix. No, this is so good. And the chocolate actually pairs really well with it. I usually like my churros with caramel. But no, this is nice. And I only got four. Four. It's always like that though. You When you want to try something but you're afraid it's not going to be the best. So you get like a small amount. But then when it's reversed and you like oh no i know i'm gonna like that let me get like a good large amount or like a pretty decent size then it's just like this is the most mid thing i've ever had in my life please tell me like i can't be the only one that this happens to <laughs> please i'm gonna have to save these for later oh my gosh i'm so sad they're so good and we have three love i can't lie though I wondered why Burger King had this meal and I had to look it up because like oh is there usually you know when they do these type of mm, promotional meals like fun different type of like shows or movie themes there's usually a reason behind it and I was like oh do they have like a new movie coming out or what but I looked high and low and I could not find I could not find anything on a new Adams movie so maybe I'm just also thinking that it's just simply for Halloween, just the spooky season, I guess. Just why not? Like, does Burger King really need a reason? Well, what's the reason? To be spooky. But, uh, yeah, I feel like they do. I feel like they kind of do. Because the Wendy's food review I just did, SpongeBob's 25th anniversary. Boom. That was the reason right there. Here? Mm hmm. Just because. So I was also thinking maybe it's, like, for Halloween. But, 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 I feel like... Wouldn't they have put it closer to Halloween so you could have like a fun Halloween meal? October 31st? That's like cheat day central right there. Picture it. You get your Adam's family meal, right? Then after that, after you after you finish all this, I don't know how you're going to do it. Good luck. Finish all this. You're going to go trick-or-treating, get more candy, and then you're going to eat that. The ultimate cheat day. That could have been a thing. They dropped the ball. Sorry, Burger King. You dropped the ball with that. You did. Unless they have something else that they're bringing out for actual Halloween it could be something like that I don't know I guess we'll have to just wait and see price I don't have a receipt for it but I can kind of remember it off the top of my head I don't have a lot of things going on with this meal um and since the review is pretty much over and we're going on to like the pricing and like the rating and logistics and things I will just say like if you're still here like let me just tell you like real quick touching it really quickly Burger King, they were arguing in there, so they really did not have their stuff together. Like, they were going back and forth, you know, the employees were arguing with each other in there. Um, to the point the manager had to come and be like, hey, hey, y'all are still working, y'all are still on the clock, like, we have a customer here, like, let's not do that. Um, then the, even the person, like, you know, taking my order, she was very confused um, with a lot of the things because originally I was getting ready to pay $20 for this meal because he was ringing up my stuff like separately, you know, as a meal or whatever. So I seen the meal and then I seen, boom, the shake separate, $4 plus extra. And I was like, oh, and I was like, hey, um, is there is there a way you could like add the shake to the meal and like do the, like the a dollar or something upcharge instead of having it service like yeah yeah i know i'm looking for it i'm looking for the button I was like, oh, okay okay i'm sorry okay i asked for water i didn't get a water either um it's it's a lot so didn't get onion rings didn't get a water so i mean we already know i didn't get a receipt at this rate we already know i didn't but that's cool it was 1535 i know that for a fact so yeah it was 1535 if they ring it up correctly don't you let those people charge you twenty dollars for this? No. If not, um, I would step out of line or get out, get out of line. Like kindly, just do that and just mobile order it because I seen it. That's how I knew that that it could be done that way because I was getting ready to mobile order it, but then I wasn't sure if they had the shake or not because the other Burger King didn't. Yes, that's it. Long story short, for that, you already know what we gotta do. We have to rate it. Rate it. To rate the meal as a whole, 
I didn't do that with the Spongebob one. I want to do this. I want to do that with this one. And any other gimmicky fast food meal that comes along for the future. But I actually would like to give this Adam's Family meal an 8 out of 10. There we go. Um, why didn't I give it a 10 out of 10? Well, I mean, the meal was supposed to come with onion rings. I did not get that for obvious reasons. Um, but I did love how everything else had, like, their own, like, vibe going on. Like, the burgers wrapping was, like, Wednesday themed. The shake cups were Morticia themed. The trudels were Gomez themed. I just wish that the bag had something going on, you know? Something, something with the bag. That that could have been fun. The Wednesday Whopper. I am going to give that, aka the Pretty Patty. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I'm gonna do that, yeah, yeah. I really like the Swiss cheese on that. I don't think I've ever had a Whopper with Swiss cheese on it. That was nice. Essentially, it was just exactly what it said it was. I mean, it's not like they tried to like make it something else, like a Krabby Patty. It was a Burger King Whopper with a pretty bun. That was slightly different in texture, but it wasn't crazy. Like, it wasn't super noticeable. Um, and just, yeah, some Swiss cheese. I appreciated the Swiss cheese. I like that. That was different. I welcome it. Um, okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Morticia's shake here. I want to give this, and I'm going to give this, an 8. Perfect amount of chocolate. Not way too rich, but you definitely taste the chocolate in there. Last but not least, Gomez's churro fries. Burger King's obsession with calling everything that's not a sandwich fries is really interesting to me. <laughs> but yes, they are actually called the churro fries. And um, I'm going to... 10. 10 10 10 get get those get those for they be out because those are really good i really did like those i really did truly enjoy those please please get them and let me know if you like them in the comments if you did get them comment below and let me know if you liked any of these items or if you have tried them yet and i hope you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, where I will see you on our next adventure. Be, it'll be the vlog. It'll be the Tampa vlog. Should be. Should be. Until then, see you next time. Bye.